Friday night. And as I had said in my email, though there's a lot of Psalms, actually there's 150 Psalms oh, geez. from David, but we're not doing it. On Friday night, they don't do 150, but there are um, some very nice melodies. And um, as Paula was saying to me, maybe it's a good idea to go to services Friday night. And there may be variations, you know, in the melodies, but um, that's okay because we know that Adon Olam and Enkel Ohenu, you know, we can recognize that by the words. And even if it's got a different melody, you know, once you know the words, you can, you yeah. can follow along. So it's not such a problem. So um, the um, Friday night, we started with the Friday night at home, blessings on candles, wines, challah, hand washing, blessing on the children. Then Shalom Aleichem, the Kiddush. Um, and then we get into, now tonight, today, we're going to get into the first of a series of really pretty psalms that are done on Friday night. Now, I was never a big one on Friday night, but as I started to learn the service, sometimes it's just two lines and they're repeated. So it, um, it begs audience participation. You know, when you have just a few lines in Hebrew and then you repeat it over like a chorus over and over again, um, that's why P, the whole congregation will get to sing along. It's not like your, your favorite ashray, <laughs> which is a long prayer. Um, some synagogues do it uh, where he, the cantor will sing one line and then the congregation another. Sometimes the congregation sings along. You know, but that's um, that's another story. We're not going to be doing that now unless we have time at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and when Hanukkah comes, I'll do a few things, some songs and the brachos for Hanukkah. Um, and we did already Adon Olam and In Kelohenu, which is in the schedule. That's much later, but I thought that we needed to be functional. Mm -hmm. And I am also going to um, go over Kaddish as different from Kiddush. Right, because um, that's just Jewish living, you know. Like um, Saturday morning, I got an email from Shul, and it said, "Please attend because you know one of our friends is going to say Kaddish for um, her husband's yard site." You know, I'll I'll be there anyway, but you know she's deciding to ask people to come and join her on on Shabbat morning, and then. Um, then they'll, they'll be doing uh, Matovu, which is the very beginning, very beginning of the service, as soon as you walk in. And they will go over the Torah blessings. Paula, do you know how to do a Torah blessings? Um, that's not the blessing that the person reads when you're doing the Torah. This is the one where you get called up. Right, the elite. Yep. The elite. Well, they have it on the card. You read it from the card. So, right. but I find that sometimes the transliteration is very off putting. It, it really is difficult, but yeah, it's there. So, the person who's reading the Torah doesn't say that. The person who has the Aliyah will get the blessing. So, they'll say the blessing before the reading, then the reading, and then they say the blessing when the reading is over. And when you're doing a Torah reading, as I will be doing tomorrow, um, if you have not been given the aliyah for your reading, you start with amen, and then you go into your Torah reading. If you have been given the honor, the aliyah, you skip amen. Okay, that's just the protocol. So if you hear people saying amen, that's because they're going to then launch into the Torah reading. Hi, Janice. Oh, hi, there. Okay. Uh, by the way, right. I'm, I might just uh, drop off for a, a short while. Whilst doing okay. This. okay. All right. So I'm, I'm going to start with the new stuff. Let me just get everybody uh, in attendance here. Hello. I'm just getting Okay. And Janice. Okay. And Sherry. Okay. So. Sherry Lynn, all right, and Sherry Stein, good. Okay, let's see if I have everybody. Cheryl? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Cheryl's here. And, and Cheryl, how could I miss? 
Cheryl, and then I see Rhoda. I don't, Rhoda, I don't see a picture. No picture today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, I'm having seven, my ten. lunch. <laughs> <laughs> when I finish my lunch, you'll see my face, okay? <laughs> very good, very good. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to start off. I saw commentary someplace where it said that in the Middle Ages, it used to be the custom to start with Havuladunai. Most synagogues now do not start with that, but I thought that was a nice one anyway. The melody is so pretty. And I thought that that was a good one to start with. So if you're using your prayer book, I'll give you the pages. If you have Sidur Sim Shalom, which I have in front of me, um, that is on page 260. That's Sidor Sim Shalom, the blue one. If you have um, Sidor Lev Shalem, the Kabbalat Shabbat's in the very beginning of the Sidor, and that's on page 21. Okay, so 260 in Sim Shalom, 21 in Lev Shalem, and then I, I sent um, a copy, and I think the one I sent was from Sim Shalom. I like the translation. The, the one that I, I have a question. The one yeah. that, you, that you sent that we, we got didn't seem like it, it felt really mixed up to me. When I look at it the way it's printed in Lev Shalem mm -hmm. and the one that you printed, I, I don't even know. It, it's hard for me to figure out where to start reading. It doesn't, it seems All right, right. Well, right. I agree. Yeah. I could use that one. The prayer is called, that's why I said, use the Sidor you're used to. It's called oh, Havu I'm, Ladonai. I'm going to go get my Sidor. I, yeah, I have and it on Sidor. I, I recommend, I really do, because actually when you're going to be, we're trying to get you ready for participation in the service. So I would, I would use the book that you're familiar with because when I was used to see my, my book, my old book, Sing Shalom, and then I went, they changed all the Sidorim to Lev Shalem, I was lost. I didn't know where the pages were. And my synagogue lost. uses the door of Hadash. Hadash, so it's totally. When did well, you send? When did you send? You can it look. You can look, look, look in the. Uh, look in the Shabbat. You look for Kabbalah Shabbat. Okay. Then you Unfortunately, the PDF they have on the internet oh, there it does is. not have the whole, it has very little. It has like three prayers. Okay, so I don't know what I I'm have it. It's the, it's the first page. Don't you what Okay, let's see. Francis, I have you. Um, who else? Anybody else that I didn't? I have one. Good. Instead of one, good, good. It's two different texts. I, Two different. I think I have everybody so far. Okay, Janice. Yeah. Janice. Yeah. Okay. So, whichever book you're using, or if you're using what I sent you, there's like uh, four four divisions. It, if you want to take a pencil and if you want to divide it or just look at it. There's like four pieces because there's a place where your voice goes up and the melody changes. So it starts with Havu Ladunai B'nai Elim. Havu Ladunai Kavod Vaoz. Havu Ladunai Kavod Shemo. Ishtachavu Ladunai Bahadrat Kodesh. Now, in the one that I sent you, I think it's a third line, where it says Kol Adonai, the melody changes, goes up. Kol Adonai al hamayim al hamayim el hakavod hirim Adonai al mayim rabim, and that's the first part. Okay, when you finish that part with the, with the when you finish with the voice goes up, that's the first part. Then then back to the main melody, the second part or verse is Kol Adonai bakoach. Ko Adonai Behadar. Okay, so in my book, it's that would be one, two, three, four, the fifth line down. That's where it starts the melody, the main melody again. And then Ko Adonai Shover Arazim. Then if you want to make yourself a little note, Bayar Kidem, on that word, the voice goes up. I mean, where I, are I, you? Where are you? 
what she's talking about. Okay, do you find the line, the first line, the word Bayar Kidane? Okay. I don't I don't see that at all. I don't My, see the that. one, two, oh, three, four, I'm, five, I'm on a different prayer. I thought I had this one. No, see, that's why I didn't send that. Okay, Cheryl, that's exactly why we're doing this because they only gave you fragments. Now I have that page from Shalom Aleichem and that is not the prayer. What they were doing is they were showing you rhyming words. That is not the way the prayer goes. Well, I've got it in my, I'm good. I've got it in the Siddur. Yeah, I've got both Siddurs. I found okay, it so don't, don't, Cheryl, don't look at the one from uh, Shalom, the book Shalom Aleichem. That's just reading practice with words that rhyme. That is not the way the prayer goes. Okay, so I, put that I one away, or you'll be totally lost. I, wait, was. I don't see anything. It's, I'm, I'm with totally lost right now with my book. Me too. Okay, I'm in. I'm on I'm page. I have a different book. I have uh, Siddur Hadash, which is what our synagogue mm -hmm. uses. Okay, and I'm in. And is is that it the prayer, section. Helene? Is it no. Havul Adonai? Do you have the right prayer? I'm looking, I, it says Kabbalat Shabbat in the section, welcoming Shabbat. And the first prayer is Shalom Aleichem. So keep going. Then it's Shabbat HaMacha. Keep going. Uh, then it's uh, Lavu Narananá. Okay, Lahula. There are a lot of noise. Shiru. Nope, not sure. real lot of noise. I don't know. I'm not Malach. Nope. And then there's the English stuff. Oh, Mies Mor La David. Okay, what's the next? What's that? La Dadi is next. Wow. They put a really um, end in your book. No, if you go La back to Mies Mor, go back to Mies Mor David because that's the title that I have. Right. That's my. That means go back to Mies Mor. A Psalm of David. Right. I'm sorry, I'm Psalm thinking 29, of so much. And it's time. the same one that you have is Hadul right. Lad and I. Means more. Okay, Carol, do you have the same book as Helene? What? No. Yeah, I don't have um, what I downloaded. The PDF. I downloaded has nothing. Hardly. Well, that's I'm why not. I send you a copy. You know. Well, that's what I have. Download. Do you want me to use the download? It? I'm sorry. Okay, I sent you an attachment. You could download that. And when did has, you send it? I sent it yesterday. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, my, my somebody dear. asked me if I could send it early on Thursday, so I complied. <laughs> it was about okay. 3 o'clock or whatever, so whoever wanted to print it out early, Okay, I did yesterday. It. I'm looking yeah. for it in my email. I just, I'm behind. It'll say Hebrew. It'll say material for- Carol, I can use that instead of looking through the book, because I did print it out. Is yeah, why don't that. you use that and then we're all in the same okay. copy. Okay. All right, that'll all right. be now, easier, I think. All right, Helene. Although I just found, finally found Ms. Moore. Why did he? Okay, either, <laughs> either one is okay. I well, guess. you can use that to press. Okay, I found, the, I found your email. Thank you very much. All right, okay. I'm using the email. Now, it says Ms. Moore Le David. That's not part of the prayer. That means a Psalm of David. That's just a right. title. That's the title, right. Okay. That's just a title. Now, if you look at the first word in the next line, it says Havu. <laughs> Everybody find right. that? Put your finger on. Okay. Now, count down one, two, like three, totally four it. lines. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you have a pencil, you can drag I can my microphone off. Four lines. Havu. And then it says the next line begins with Havu. And the third line begins with Kol. And the fourth line begins with Adonai. Those four lines is the first section. Okay. So I would put a line under that. And the melody changes on the third line with Cole, Cole Adonai. That's where the melody changes. So if I sing it to you, you'll see. So listen, it goes, Havul Adonai B'nai Havul Adonai Kavod Va'oz. That was the first line. Second line. Havul Adonai Kivod Shemo Kishta Havul Adonai Behadrat Kodesh. That's the second line. 
third line. Third line goes up. Kol Adonai al hamayim al hamayim el hakavod hirim. The next line. Adonai al mayim rabim. I'm lost. That's, that's the first. Two, I you got looking, this it, page with the line. Are we yeah. reading the left, the part on the left side of the line or the right side of the line? The bottom the, the, the or the last or the last <laughs> section. Okay. They're so they're referring the one to the I people. sent you, the one I sent you is divided like that. It's not no, I didn't oh, use No, that's yet. not what I'm looking at. That's not what okay. I got either. This is what we all got. That's this strange. is what we all got last yesterday. And are you kidding me? Are there? The one are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm I must have maybe I sent the wrong thing. That oh okay. I'm sorry, I must have sent the wrong thing because that is from Shalom Aleichem. Okay, no, I, I had from last year several copies and that was the page. All right. Um, do you all have a prayer book? No. no. But don't worry right. about it. Um, can you screen share maybe? No, I don't have it up for that. You know, let me try. I, don't, I, I thought here. I checked it. You know, I, it, it, this is the one that, and it's- That's no. not what we got. That's not what we got. Uh, Carol, All right. why don't I, so, why don't I, Carol, why don't I take a picture of it and I can shoot an email to everybody and they'll at least have a picture of what it right. looks like in the prayer book. If that okay, help. let me hold up your prayer book. Let me see which one, which prayer book are you using? See, which one is that? Sidor Hadash? No. No. Okay. All right. Why don't you do that? I have some shalom. And you have, uh, yes, yeah, Sidor. You have um, the red sin shalom. The lev. This is the lev shalom. The, uh, yeah, shalom. lev shalom. It's the That's same in both. Best. The words yeah. are the same in both. Oh, yeah. Right. The words are not going to change. The melody yeah. is not so going to change. I'm just going to stay where so, I am. Because no, what I wanted to um, tell you is that do any of you go Friday morning, uh, Saturday morning? Yes, yes I did. I did. Uh, okay. So mm -hmm. during the Torah service, at the end of the Torah service, they sing, Havula Donai Right? right. right. Yeah. That's the same yeah. psalm, only it sounds totally different because yeah. the melody is slow. It's totally different. So if you wanted to learn it, the words from that, you we could sing the Saturday morning. That's but the tune Friday I know. Night, is it's the, the same morning. exact song, exactly. But the words Friday night are sung faster. The other one is Havula Donai. So if you want to practice the words to that, just to practice reading, we could practice the one you're familiar with. Well, it's better to practice something we're familiar with than. So if you can go to the Shabbat. Yeah, well, because you're not familiar enough to switch over. So if you can go to um, the the uh, Torah service. Is it the same song? Your book. It's the same song. Kavuot and why do we have to switch? Can't we just switch the tune? Well, well yeah. We're, we're, not, we're not looking at notes. We're just looking at words. We don't, so I don't it doesn't even know matter what the, which, which section of the book as long as the right. I yeah. just sent okay, but I, I'm not sure if it's a different configuration with the Torah. Let me just see if it's oh, different. Oh, it might no. be something that you're more familiar with. Carol, so you want right, me to go to the Torah? The Torah um, Let service? me check. In my book, I just sent it to all of you in email. There's a picture. Okay, well, then that's email. Carol, pardon? I, that's I just want yeah, to tell thank you, you, our synagogue uses a completely different melody Friday night, but mm. that's okay. I'll try to learn this one. Well, no, we'll do the we'll do the Saturday one. That way, you'll be able to you know learn the words. Cheryl, it didn't it. completely come out though. It's well, not click. the the, pa the page is slightly crooked, so you miss the beginnings of each of the words. Um, did you click on the actual picture? It should come up with everything. I'm looking at it right now. But... Oh, okay. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I downloaded it. It downloads you. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's so a little as crooked. As, <laughs> as long as you have the words, 
Yeah. Well, we can use the Saturday. We can use the Saturday um, melody because you're familiar with that, and that's fine. And then you can always try to switch. I think the important thing now is the reading, right? You you really want to be able to read. Yes. Okay. So let's work on that. We'll go. You know, we could do that. That melody is fine. Mm -hmm. Let me get back where I was. Okay. So. I gave you some vocabulary because this vocabulary, I told you once and I'll tell you again, in a lot of the Psalms, it's by the same author, King David. So a lot of the words describing God are going to be similar. There's a lot of references to nature, comparing the power of God to nature. In this particular Psalm, um, it's describing a storm. It's describing the voice of God, which is kol Adonai, is so powerful that it's coming over the water. It goes up, it's a storm, and it goes up to Lebanon. And Lebanon is known for its cedars, cedar trees, the cedars of Lebanon. And it shatters, the voice of God is so powerful, so majestic. It shatters the trees in the forest which is amazing. Then there's a funny verse and it says, it makes the trees dance like calves. You know, in uh, Passover, we have the goats dancing. And it's, okay, so it makes the trees dancing. They're shattered, they're dancing just by God's voice. And then it forms, his voice forms flames of fire. Okay, it's almost like the revelation at Sinai. You know, this is like a, an extraordinary occurrence. And then God's voice is over the water. But at the end, so it's the storm ends. And the last line is God will bless the people with peace. So you start out with stormy. God is coming over the water, goes up to Lebanon. The trees are shaking and dancing. And then at the end, everything is peaceful. Um, so we, this, just so quickly, some of the words I, I sent you the vocabulary, the words kol, kol means voice, kol Adonai, the voice of Adonai. If you can look on whatever copy you're looking at, how many times do you see that? Just scan it. How many times does that phrase kol Adonai appear? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, up to nine, quickly. Not nine. Ten. ten no, nope. less than ten. It has no. to be together. Real Cold quickly, my eyes just saw seven, but there might be more. Seven. Nine, two, seven. Three, seven. Three, ah, four, seven. Magic seven. number seven. Five, why? Six, okay. Paula, seven. why did you say that that's the magic number? Well, because we've been talking about sevens, um, seven days, and we're just going through Shemitah, and that's seven, and so many things in the Bible are seven, seven fat right. years. Right, and this almost seven feels years, like creation. Seven days of feels, creation. You know, seven. like when you think about creation, there was nothing, and then a division of light and darkness and, and the water and the land. So this is, it's very powerful, the imagery. Okay. So let's go over the words. So you have here the word of, let, I'm going to go through some of these words that might be familiar. Just, just can like I, raise can your I hand. Quickly, quickly ask a question. Yeah. When I, when I was looking at the printout that you did send, which was the wrong thing, but the, the word Ananoi is written differently from the way I've seen it before with the lot. Okay. And the, when I was teaching Hebrew school, we learned never put the two yuds on a blackboard because you erase it. And that's God's unpronounceable name. And we tell everybody, uh, anyone who's learning Hebrew, don't try to pronounce that because we really don't know how that's pronounced. Whenever you see the two yuds in a, in a prayer, just to substitute Adonai. It's a very good question. Okay, so now what I sent, it's from the prayer book and the prayer book is going to have the two yuds, right? Now, yeah, the, if, but what if you, you have these like on the vocabulary, it has that little. Sound. It's got like a hey and a yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. No. That good question. Okay, it has a letter hey, and it has a slash. Yeah. So that 
people would pronounce call Hashem. And you could say call oh. Adonai, Hashem. Shem, Shem means name. And when religious people refer to God, they say Hashem. They go Baruch Hata Hashem. If they're practicing, if they're not really davening, if they're not really praying, Baruch Ata Hashem. They wouldn't say Baruch Ata Adonai. We, for practice, for education purposes, you are allowed to say that. But a really religious person will use that. So when you're writing it out, I didn't want to put the two yuds. I could have put okay. Kol Adonai, but okay. it's a good question. Okay. Does anyone know what the word kavod means? Bless. It's honor, isn't it? Honor. There's an expression. Let's say somebody did something really great for your synagogue. People will go up to them and say, call ha kavod. Like yeah, they so gave a million dollars. what that meant. <laughs> call ha kavod, it means all honor to you. I thought it meant, oh, that's good. You know, it, it's good. a really nice compliment. <laughs> Supposing you read a Torah reading for the first time, or you had an adult bat mitzvah. So the rabbi will go up to you and say, call ha kavod, all honor to you. It's a really nice expression when somebody has done something really nice Jewishly. Kol HaKavod. Okay, so then we have Kol Adonai. We said it seven times, and it's maybe connected to the seven days of creation. Don't forget, these prayers are Friday night. It's Shabbat. And when we're talking about last week, Shabbat means he rested. He or she or it rested, right? And it's the beginning of the Sabbath. So all of these, if it has some kind of connection to Shabbat or to creation, it's no wonder, right? It's connected because the whole thing is Shabbat is a remembrance of creation, that six days of creation, of work, and the seventh, God rested. So there's a connection here to these prayers and that whole concept of Shabbat. Okay, so El is another word for God and it means almighty. Ah, we have this word here, koach. Did anyone ever hear the expression yashir koach? Terry, what does yashir koach? Somebody. Um, it's kind of like uh, congratulations. Yeah, it's like that. Yep, thank you. It's used like that. Yashir koach. So when I finish a Torah reading or a hot Torah and I'm mm -hmm. stepping away from the table where the Torah is, the rabbi and the cantor yell out yashir koach. Mm -hmm. It means may you, are, may you increase in strength. And it really means in studying Torah. Yasher Koach. Koach is strength. Koach. Okay. Well, there's uh, a difference between strength and power. Well, when they say Yasher Koach, Koach means strength, really. But this says power. That is strength. Yes. Yeah. Strength and power. I, I had here power but it's power, strength, but it means in studying Torah. That's what the intent is for that, okay? Maybe you increase in strength in knowledge of Torah. That's why when they say Yashir Koach. Yeah, power, strength. Um, Erez is the cedar. Okay, Lebanon. Could you have figured that out, that that was Lebanon, if you took a wild yeah. guess? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that yes. one sounds, okay, Lebanon. Okay, so that one, Lebanon. Uh, Aish. Aish. Did you figure that out, Aish? Fire. There is, there is a group called Aish HaTorah. Aish HaTorah mm -hmm. in, in California and all over. It means a fire of Torah. That's a religious group. Um, Orthodox. Mm -hmm. What about Midbar? Where That's were the Jews desert. wandering? Midbar, That's right? That's the Midbar. desert. That's right. Mm -hmm. Desert. So we've heard that word, Midbar. Okay. Um, and Mabul, Hamabul, flood. Mabul, the flood. flood. Okay, that was in for the first in Genesis. They talked about the Mabul in Noah last week. Mabul Mayim, yeah. the flood. Mabul Mayim. Okay. Wait, okay. Mab this says Mabul. Is it Bull or Vul? It's Mabul. Depends. It depends. You know, I, you can't see the dot. There's a dot there. It's Mabul with a bit. Mabul. Maybe it came out uh, not too strong. Okay, and the other words, havu, acclaim, like give honor to. So this prayer is called havu ladunai. It's sort of like Shakespeare's sonnets. 
they're called, the Psalms are called by the first couple of words, right? Like Shirul Adonai, if the can't just says now we're going to sing Shirul Adonai as the first two words, or Romamu, that's the first word of that, of that prayer. So mm -hmm. like in Shakespeare, you know, the sonnets, they're known by the first line. So Havul Adonai, the first two words, and that's what we call it, very Shakespearean. Okay, so let's go over the words. Does it, is anyone familiar with this in reading it, from doing it from uh, Shabbat? I, think I go, oh, okay, I, don't Helene? Think I can. You, you Why don't your... you read the first four lines? Okay. If you want to sing it, it's even better. Uh, I'll just... All right, read it, <laughs> read it. Okay, that's fine, read it. Well, I just know how. Havu Adonai b'nei Elim, Havu Adonai kavod vaos. Is that right? It's right. It's beautiful. Keep going. Oh, Havu Adonai kavod shemo hasha. Ishtachavu. Adonai. La donoi behad vat kodesh. This is making me really slow down and really look at the words. This is good. All right. Well, Thank isn't you. that what we want to do? We want to be able to read it. If, do you know it by memory? I I kind of follow it along, but see, when you memorize, you're not really pronouncing the words correctly because you don't. You know what I mean? This is. I know like exactly really, what you mean. <laughs> Yeah, so the memory is like what I think I've heard and don't really know how to pronounce the words right. Okay, so let's go over the words so everybody can really do it. And then maybe we can try that Saturday morning um, melody. So it's Havu Ladonai. Okay, everybody try it after me. Havu Ladonai. Havu Ladonai. B'nai Eileen. B'nai Eileen. Havu Ladonai. Havu Ladonai. Kavod Vaoz. Kavod Vaoz. Vaoz. Now we're going to try the whole line. I'm going to read the whole line, follow it with your finger, and then we'll try to do it together slowly, the whole line. Okay, so listen. I'll do it first, and then I'll go back and we'll do it together. Havu Ladonai. Okay, well, let, let me wait. Let me do the oh, sorry. Whole line and sorry. Sorry. Okay. Havu Ladonai Bene Elim. Havu Ladonai Kavod Vaoz. Okay, now let's do that whole line. Havu Ladonai and and if you know this melody on Shabbat, it goes like this: Havula donai b'nei Eli, Havula donai kavod vaos. Is that familiar to anybody? Havula donai kavod vaos. Great. See it when it when you were saying rot ba ba bahad rot kodesh, I think I was hearing bot kodesh, you know. Oh. So okay. when, when I'm doing it from memory, it's not really so when you go to services, do you look at the words or you just look up and you just sing? I I I I've been going to services so long I don't look at the words, but now that I'm into trying to learn Hebrew, yeah, I've started doing that. But our cantor goes so fast. I, there's no way. All right. Let's try those two lines again because the only way to really learn it is to practice it a lot, not just once, but a lot. Let's point, do the first two, point, two lines because the third line changes and goes up. So the first two lines of this same melody, let's try it again. Have a 
Can somebody do those two lines? Somebody would like to volunteer to read them? Not me. Not me. <laughs> I'll try. Rhoda, you want to try? Who's going to try? I'll try, Janice. Dance. Okay, great. Okay. Have you la oh am I supposed to sing it? Have no, you la just... okay good. Have you la <laughs> um ki ki uh ki uh bene um el el elohim elim uh, elim have you la adonai uh, uh, Kadosh, no, ka kavod, va oz. Good, um, second line. Havu ladunai, kavod, shemo, hish ta hanu, la havu, hish ta havu, la adunai, kahad, kahad, be, it's a bed, be. Oh, be. Beha Behad Rat uh, Kodesh. Good. Let's try somebody else. That was very good. That big word is Behad Rat. So it's Hishtachavu. And again, what I always do is break it into syllables. Okay. If you see a word that looks frightening, that looks big. Hishtachavu. Now you know that a vav as a letter has a V sound. And a vav with a dot in the middle, on the top or in the middle, is a vowel. So you have two vavs here. One is a letter and one is a vowel. So it's hish, ta, ha, vu. That last syllable is vu. It's a vav, v, and then it's the vowel, the vav with the dot in the middle, okay? Vu, hish, ta, ha, vu. And then it says behadrat, behad. Rat Kodesh is at the end. Hishtachavu Ladonai Behadrat Kodesh. Okay? So don't get flustered when you're reading. Break it into syllables. Okay? Even the best of us do that with new words. Okay? Sometimes you'll hear somebody doing the Haftorah and Isaiah is very poetic and difficult to read. So if they're making a mistake, usually it's gonna be on, on a word which is a long word, okay? A difficult word that has many syllables. So the easy words, so if you use one syllable, two syllables, you could figure out. But if you're trying to read it with a melody and you see a long word and it's not a familiar word because it's a poetic word, they may make a mistake. And if they're smart, they just keep going. <laughs> they don't go whoopsie. <laughs> okay. Um, anybody want to try those? Another person, the first, just the first two lines. I'll try and Paula. Oh, Beryl, very good. Okay. Um, Havu la donoi, bene elim, Havu la donoi, kavod, so. Okay, it's not at side. It looks like it. It's an iron, it's silent. Vaoz. <clears throat> Vaoz. 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 Mm -hmm. um, Havu Adanoi Kavo Chamo Hash Hish Hish Vinu Hishta Havu. The Tav has the tail. Hishta Havu Adanoi. Be hard rat. Very good. Kadosh. You took my advice. You broke it down. Be mm -hmm. hard rat. Rat. What, what, what line is it? Sorry. I can't find it. That's the second line. We're still on the first two lines. Oh, okay. Thank okay? you. Now, so whatever melody you go, Havula donai bene, Elim, Havula donai kavod vaos, Havula donai kivod shimo. 
Your cantor probably slows up when the kids are singing it on a Friday night, when the children come and do it. All right, now the third line in that. That repeats. El hakavod hirim. Next line. Adonai al mayim. What does the word mayim mean? Mayim, 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 mayim. Water, water, water. Water. So here's a word we know. So there again, it's kol Adonai. That's the third one. Kol Adonai al hamayim. The voice of God upon the water. So it, like I said, it starts out where God is over the water. El, of the Almighty, Hakavod, uh, Honorable Almighty, Hirim, Adonai, Almayim, Rabim. God is above the waters, the, the swelled up waters, the deep waters. So that's where it goes up. Ko Adonai, Al Hamayim, and that repeats Al Hamayim. El hakavod hirim Adonai al mayim rabim. Wait, 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 I lost. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's the first two lines we did. And then the third line and the fourth line have that high melody. Put your finger on the words. Put your finger on the on, on the word kol Adonai. Well, actually, that's the first time we have kol Adonai. Kol, you have it, Paula? Kol Adonai? Yeah. It's a your first, your okay. book is, your my book, I have four, I have two lines for every line that you have. So right. it makes so this, it yeah. harder. So right. just okay, follow now the I, words. I have my finger on the kol Adonai. Okay, good. So here's where it goes up. Kol Adonai al hamayim, and that repeats al hamayim. El hakavod hirim. You got that? Yeah. Adonai al mayim rabim. So, can I ask you a question, Carol? How do you know when you repeat something? I mean, like, you know, you look at the prayer book and it's only there once. How are you right. supposed to know that it repeats? You listen to the cantor <laughs> and you learn it from listening, like oh, any okay. song, right? Any song that some American songs, folk songs, they have a refrain, right? Right. So you learn it because you hear it and then you, you repeat it. You listen a lot. Okay. I always wonder how do teenagers and young adults Learn the rap lyrics to hip hop music. How do they learn that? They I'll tell understand? you how. I every time I see them, I see them glued in. They they have their earbuds on, and they're listening to it over and over and over until they can until they've almost memorized it and they can do it almost to performance level. You need to hear it a lot, right? Any like any how, new song? Like how many of us know all the words to American Pie? I mean, really. Right. Yeah. We any of the, any of the so pop much. songs. American we know the yes. first <laughs> verse and that's it. So, so I underlined this in my practice copy because I know we're singing it and I automatically will do it because I'm following the cantor. And he goes, Adonai al -hamayim. and then I hear him go back. Al -hamayim. El hakavod. So now, um, in each of the four stanzas, I'll call it, there's repetition. So what I would do if you had a pencil to underline those words, and that will help you to learn it, because otherwise, then you're going to get flustered, you're going to get lost and say, wait a minute, where am I? So that's the, that is when it ends with Adonai al Mayim Rabin, that's the first stanza. Okay, so we have God is over the waters. All right. And then the second one goes, Kol, 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 
Bakoach, Ko Adonai, Behadar, Ko Adonai, Shover Arazim, Vayeshaber Adonai, Et Arze Halvanon. So now we're up to the cedars of Lebanon. You heard Halvanon. It's not halava that you're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Halvanon. Okay, so that has the same melody as Havul Adonai B'nei Okay, so it's, this is second verse. Kol Adonai Ba'koach. The voice of God in power, in strength. Kol Adonai Behadar. The voice of God in his splendor. Kol Adonai. Now, I want you to look at that third word. Shover. Can someone tell me? Something interesting oh. about the word shover. Hey, that's on top of both sides of the sh Ah, right. So it's this is really scary. What's what's with that word shover? What were you gonna say? One is a shin to indicate a shin, and the other one is to indicate the vowel. Oh, yeah. perfect. So we have this thing that looks like two bunny ears or something. It's a shin. The letter is really a shin. It's got the dot on the right. And above the shin is a vowel, the O vowel. Remember if I put my hand on my head and press down, that's the O vowel. So it's show there. It's nothing else. It can be nothing else. Show there. Okay. So, yeah. Now, sometimes I'm just write this down. Mo, okay. If, if you've seen sometimes, if you have the word Moshe, the name Moshe, that's a little weird the way it's written because there's a vowel over, over the mem, that's O, Mo, and then immediately followed by the shin with a dot. So it looks like you have two dots together when you write, if you write the, the word Moshe, mm -hmm. you try it. Some books, some, some places only have one dot. And you're supposed to know the name Moshe, that the mem has an O vowel, and that's a shin, because Moshe is mem, shin, hey. You're supposed to recognize that. That's Moshe. How about that? So this is shover, arazim, breaks. The voice of God, it means breaks the cedars. Vayeshaber Adonai et arze halvanon. And, and breaks God, the cedars of Lebanon. It just repeats the first part of the verse and the second part. Then it goes up. And if you're writing on that next line, it's Vayarki Dame, Kimmo Egel, Kimmo Egel. That repeats. Lebanon, Vesirion. Now that's a sin. The Sirion, you see that? Sirion. Kimo ven reimim. So you have Vayarkidem Kimo Egel, and then it's again Kimo Egel, Levanon, the Sirion, Kimo ven reimim. So let's try to do that. I'll say it and say it after me. So this is a second stanza where God is breaking down all those big cedar trees. Kol Adonai Bakoach. Kol Adonai Bakoach. Okay, now the word koach is like the Yiddish word. Koyach. I don't have any more koyach. Okay. So koyach is Yiddish. And the Hebrew for strength is koach, like in Yasher Koach, right? All right, so it's kol Adonai Bakoach. Now, that third letter, you have a bet and a kav and a chet. And you have the vowel a ah under the chet. And we learned, we learned last year that if you have a chet and a patach, an a ah under it, it's pronounced ach, like an ach believer. Okay, so it's ba ko ach. See that? Ko ach. All right, you would never say bakocha. When you see the het and you see ah under it, the vowel is always pronounced first. Bakoach. All right, ach. All right. 
Kol Adonai Bakoach, Kol Adonai Behadar. So say, Kol Adonai Behadar. Behadar, the voice of God in splendor. So it's Kol Adonai Bakoach. Kol Adonai. Kol Adonai Bakoa, Kol Adonai Behadar. Then it continues. Kol Adonai Say. Kol Adonai Shor now it goes up. Vayarki dame, Kimo, wait, Vayarki dame, Kimo Egel, Kimo Egel. That's the repetition, Kimo Egel. Levanon, the seer young, Kimo ven reemim. So let's try that. Vayarki dame, Vayarki dame, Kimo egel, Kimo egel. We could that that verb means they're dancing. They're dancing Kimo. like like uh, calves. Vayarki dame kimo egel, and it repeats kimo egel. Then it says Livanon. Livanon. The Syrian. The Syrian. Kimo. Kimo. Then. 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 Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, Ben and Ben both mean the son, the son of. Re Both Ben okay. and Ben. Ben and Ven. Mm -hmm. It depends on what comes before it. Here you have the vowel O. It's a grammatical thing, but Ben and Ven are both son. Okay, so it's Bayarki Dame, Kimo Egel, Kimo Egel, Livanon, that's Lebanon, the Syrian, it's a place, Syrian, Kimo, Ven, Re'emim. Okay, that's the second verse. The third verse starts with Kol Adonai. Put your finger on it, find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's the Kol word Adonai. 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 So then it goes Kol Adonai. 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 Okay, so look. Kol Adonai. Kol Adonai. Kol Adonai. <laughs> that next word is Chotzei. 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 If you don't Chotzei. like Atsadi, here it is. Chotzei. 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 Lahavot. Lahavot. When you're singing it, and I've discussed this with my cantor, sometimes they shorten the word to fit the music. So it's Kol Adonai Chotzev Lavot Eish. You don't say Lahavot Eish because you can't get that in musically. Kol Adonai Chotzev Lavot Eish. You hear Lavot Eish. You don't really hear the hey separate. It's Kol Adonai Chotzev Lahavot Eish. You can't. And I asked the cantor about that. He says you have to smush it together a little. Kol Adonai Chotzev Lavot Eish. You hear. La vote. You don't hear the hey. La vote eish. Okay? Because musically, he, he won't do it like that. You have to shorten it. So the hey kind of gets swallowed. La vote eish. Kol Adonai. Yach yil Wait a minute. Yach. Yach Yach Heal Adonai Yahil Midbar. There you hear that. We go. Kol Adonai Chotzev Lavotesh. Kol Adonai Yahil Midbar. Yahil Midbar. Yeah. Then it says Yahil again. Yahil Adonai. Yahil Midbar. Adonai Chotzev Lavotesh. Kol Adonai Yahil Midbar. Yahil Midbar. Yahil Midbar. Yahil Midbar. Yahil Midbar. Yahil Midbar. Yahil
Two dots, but the word is vayeche so it's a sin Vayeche-sof. with a dot. The sin has a dot on the left, but we have a vowel, but they're not putting two dots. They figure you're so smart, you know that that's an O <laughs> vowel. <laughs> they're giving you a little credit here, ladies. So it's vayeche sof, and that's a final fe. In case you didn't learn it, final fay. Okay, it's long. Daddy long legs. Vayeche sof. Vayeche sof. Vayeche sof. You have two vowels of e. Say go. Vayeche sof. Vayeche sof. So, ye a wrote. Yeah, I wrote. Yeah, I wrote. Yeah, I wrote. Uh, wrote. So this part goes up. So, yeah, I wrote. Yeah, I wrote. You hear that was a repeat? Yep. There's another repeat. Kalu, Kalu, Sophia, Aro, Aro, O Pehalot, Kulo, Kulo, Merkavod. Okay, so that O Merkavod, Bayeches, O Pehalot, Kulo, Mer, Kulo, O Merkavod. So Omerka vote gets repeated. Kulo Omerka vote. That's the end of the third verse. And there's only a little bit left. Adonai <laughs> Melech Leolam, king of king of the world. Vayeshev Adonai, Melech Leolam. Okay, God sits like on the throne. Vayeshev Adonai, Melech Leolam, Adonai Oz Lamabu, Laamo Yitain, Adonai Yivarechet Amo Vashalom. And it starts up tumultuous over the water and this. The water is, the waves are crashing and the cedars are breaking and then it ends on peace. It's like, okay? So it's really about the power of God, the strength of God, the majesty of God. But at the end, the last line says, Adonai is enthroned as king forever. Adonai will give strength to his people. Adonai will bless his people with peace. And we're saying this Friday night, the beginning of Shabbat, okay? So that psalm ends on the right note. <laughs> it starts off with, with a lot of water and, 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 and shaking and, and fire and flames, and it, and it all goes down, okay? 
just like a big wave and a peace at the end. Okay, so that's that's the end. Now um, we'll have some a few minutes. Does anybody want to read from um, the third part? Kol Adonai Chod Save Level H H. Somebody want to read from that part? Kol Adonai Chod Save. La vote ish. And I'm going to have you say la vote, not say la ha vote. What mine is cold? Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. I see it. The fourth time, cold out and I begins a line. The fourth time you'll see cold out and I. It's the short line. The short line. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Somebody want to read? I'll read it. Okay, Helen. Kol Adonai Hotsev La Havot Esh. Want me to go more? Yep. Kol Adonai Yahil Midbar. Yahil Adonai Midbar Kadesh. Good. More? Yep, the half, half a line. Kol Adonai Yechaleel Ayalot Ve. That's it. Okay, that's that part. Now it goes Va Yechesov. Who wants to read that part? Where it starts with Va Yechesov. Va Yechesov. Everybody want to take a crack at it? Well, there it is. Good try. Come on. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Cheryl, you want to try it? That's by yes. Oh, Sherry so. raised her hand. You didn't okay. see her. Oh, I Sherry. didn't see her. Yeah. Sherry. Go I, ahead. I read already. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go ahead, Sherry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, <coughs> wrote. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wrote. Yeah. Good. Uh, wrote. Mm -hmm. Hey. By low. Hello. Uh, hey, it's a ha. Uh, uh, hello. Kulo. Mm -hmm. Omer. The call. The call. Kavod. Kavod. I don't, I don't know. Okay. That's, that's that part that goes up. You can finish. I don't know. La Magu. Yashav. By Ashev, I don't know. By Ashev, I don't know. Melech la Olam, I don't know. Oz le Amo, Etain, I don't know. Yevarech et Amo Bashalom. You get a gold star. Very good. Excellent, excellent job. That was that was really excellent. That was great. Um, Rhoda, you want to try to do a little reading? We've got a couple of minutes. All right, I'll try. Where, where shall I start? Okay, any way you want. All right, I'll start at the beginning, okay? Okay, uh, let me just shut my phone off, excuse me. Can't find it. Um, oh well, you're hearing a symphony. My phone is someplace, okay. I chose a very nice melody, it calms me. <laughs> okay, any way you want. Okay, Robert. I'm starting at, at, at the top. Havu la Adonai, Bene Elo Elim. 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 Havu la Adonai, Kavod va Oz. Good. Havu la Adonai, Kavod Shamo. Hish Hish Tahavu La Adonai Vahad 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 Rat Kadosh Kadesh Kodesh 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 Kodesh. Can I can I ask a question? I I keep thinking that the La Adonai is Ladonoi. Have I it heard is. it both I was, ways? I was, I was waiting for somebody to say that. I was going to ask you that. I didn't want to interrupt her. Okay, so that is one word. 
And it means for God, but when you say it, you say Ladonai. Oh, so okay, Ladonai. So yeah, so you why don't break the, it why up, the say two la. syllables then? I mean, like there's there's the syllable under the la, and then it's not under the yud. Yeah, it's confusing. You're not supposed to pronounce the two yuds. It's Adonai. So just, if it were written out as Adonai with an aleph and a dalit. So it's just la. Ladonai. 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 Just Ladonai. together. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you for yes. commenting. Good comment. Good call. All right. Did you finish? You yes, I finish. am. Thank Have you. Uh, you finished? Call Ladonai Alhamayim. Did you do that? I think you did. Okay, that last word is Kodesh. Look at it, Rhoda. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can see Kodesh. I can see Good. it. Good. Okay. All right. Anybody want to try any other part? Come on, go for it. This is your reading class. This is a chance to really get a chance and make mistakes and correct the mistakes. Uh, Beryl, you want to try a little bit? You want to try the same thing that Rhoda did? Uh, no, I'll do the next two lines. All right. Oh, I a think. Brave sojourner. Ko Adonoi Al Hamayan Al Hamayan. L. Okay. Kad. Doad. Ha kad vote. Ha ka vote. Vote. Ha ka vote. Ha. Um. He. Right. Ryan. Okay. It's two syllables. Here, the dot underneath is e. Like e my feet. Oh, okay. Here. It's here rather than he ra. Okay. Right. That's e the first syllable. Here. Here I am. Im. <laughs> Not here I am. <laughs> here. Here. Okay. E the I N has no sound. The first okay. syllable is here. 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 And then we have the dot here. with the yud or the plain dot is both e. Right. Mm. You learn. Yes. That. Here. E, e. And that's the final mem, like in Mayim. Right. Okay. Here im, el hakavod. Okay. Here im. Keep going. Finish a few more words. Adnoi al mayim rabim. Okay. So now what they did in that page from Shalom Aleichem, they gave you words that were rhyming, so they thought that was easier for you to learn, like rabim and mayim. If you take a look at that page yes. from the workbook, that's what they did. They they tried to give words that sounded alike pull okay. them out so it's not at all this prayer it's just words from the prayer that they manipulated mm -hmm. okay so okay. you can't learn how to learn and from that Helene um you're talking about the workbook and I never got to take the first class oh is Shalom, that didn't I book? send that to you huh the Shalom Aleichem book not I really don't, a workbook I don't have it is that a disadvantage to me no but you know what, um, if we all have, I will send it to you. Okay, there's a copy and it's a lot of pages. It's like 60 something pages. If you want to download it, fine. If you just want to keep a copy uh, so that if we refer to it and I say uh, before the next week's study, the vowels or the, the words, the letters on this page. Like if I wanted to um, uh, just go over a particular, like a, see people having trouble with final tzadi or final, you know, so so feet then i can say okay look over this page and we'll do it together by the way are there any letters that you'd like to review or vowels yeah that was a very good book for for learning you know yeah. all, all, of the, all of the last letters that that i tried to learn are still very uh, okay Which, whatever the last letters in the alphabet are i'm very slow well, did you learn well starting from where was 22 letters. The way I learned, I was in my 60s. I'm set, I just turned uh, 78. Mazel so tov. like uh, maybe 12 years ago. Okay. My husband passed away and I was so. president of a small congregation, very small. And I couldn't read Hebrew. I couldn't even say the prayers before the, you know, the, the uh, I couldn't do an aliyah. So, um, I mean, the blessings before them. 
And um, one of the ladies in the congregation lost her husband five weeks before mine, and she was converting. And she, she and I got together and took a book out of the children's books, and we just taught Great. ourselves. And I mean, we, we, we actually had a bot mitzvah, but I read three words. So, I mean, I really didn't know how to read it. All right, Helene. So, remember when we started this class, we went over uh, live bed, bed. So, uh, yes. live bed, bed, gimel, dawid. Hey, are you okay up to that? Yeah. Bob Zion, head, tet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the okay. I'm, I don't I'm know if checking. they had the letters in there in that particular. It was the last letters that well, I just what was the last letter. <laughs> uh, like the, the, okay the pay with and the pay and the all right. Chet tet lamed mem nun You want me to look at that? I want you to look at that. Okay. Ian. I and yeah, I don't. No, see, I, I don't even remember the names of the letters. I well, how about okay, Mem? I the, learned the, the wrong way. I all right, know. Mem as in Moshe and Mayim. You know the Mem? Uh, that's mem one that gives mem. me trouble. That gives me your trouble. list of the alphabet is really good that way, Carol. Well, then I'm, I'm going to look at that. At the beginning, the, the okay. alphabet. Sing the Debbie Friedman song. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, okay. uh, Helene, do yeah. me a favor. During yeah. the week, take that. That is a very good page because it has everything. It shows you how it's okay. written in case okay. you want to learn script. Okay, look it over. Mm -hmm. Try to sing the song. Make believe you're five years old. I'll, I'll try, but and <laughs> see, I never even heard the word letter before you say that it. you go, I go wow. when you get to that part. Send me an email and tell me. And honestly, I will go over those letters. All right. There's a Berman House book that has uh, good review pages. And there's also this book. I will send you, when I get up the phone, I will send you that whole Shalom Aleichem. And your eyes will go, oh, my goodness, this is a great book. <laughs> okay. Right? okay. That's the one that has the approach of words. And they okay. start off not in order. They start off with letters and vowels that are part of the words in Shalom Aleichem. And after a couple of weeks, all of a sudden you can read that whole song. Okay, God wish I'd known that. It helped right. me get through the grief of losing my husband too. Well, to I, I can imagine that's, any that's, that's how I learned the little bit that I know. Does everybody have the Shalom Aleichem text? Oh, yeah. Yes, everybody has it. Nobody is uh, without that, okay. Not with me so, though. <laughs> if, I wanna if, know though. Is that available in print? No, it's not. Yeah, it's good. available if you print it. <laughs> um, oh, they yeah. sent to it's teachers copy. a copy as, a, as a, a very nice incentive for us to teach this class. Okay, if I had to print out 70 pages, I think I would have said, no, thank you. So they sent me that whole book. I have a hard copy. And therefore, if I want to go and, and look through and find the letter, the page, pages for the letters that let's say you don't know um, a pay, all right? You don't know a pay from a matzo ball. I can find that page and I can send it out. I can just scan it and I can send it out in two seconds and everybody will have that practice page and we can spend five minutes on that letter until everybody's, I know the pay, okay? I if, know if pay, you have pay a, and final pay. If you have a printer that can print two sides, it's only 30 pages of paper. Right. And I mean, it's I, not that I, printed, I printed it out so that I could have it. And yeah. it's really I mean, that's, that is a good idea. Otherwise, go to Staples and just pray because Staples is expensive. Mm. They are. It's expensive to do that. I like your idea, Beryl, printing <laughs> it out double sided. You can do that yes. if you're. Well, Helene, you're close enough to me when I'm home. That I could print it out double sided and and bring it over to you. So that's I'm a really, nice friend. Well, because I'm in Boynton Beach and really I'm not far from her when I'm home. Right now I'm in Philadelphia for three weeks and it's it's going She's to be. In it would be nice to get together with you sometime. Definitely, Helene. It would. Well, it's look been at that. A Isn't that a time. nice offer? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the whole copy. I'll send you the attachment. And Beryl has it, and you can start looking at it. 
And then you can, you know, you from the attachment, you can start a scrolling down and you can find the page that has the letters that you're not so, and that goes to everybody. Right. You know, we're, yeah. we're all, nobody should feel that they're um, embarrassed to say, I don't know a particular letter or a vowel. That's what we're here for. You know, we can practice that until you feel good about it. Carol, may I ask a question quickly? Um, I have problems with the O and the O and with the vowels. I, I always seem to say O rather than O. The O and the O. You know, when you say, uh, maybe it's my, is it my accent? It's no, your accent. You mean O? There's no O. There's O. Oh. Uh. <laughs> right, there's oh, just okay. an O. <laughs> oh, it's O. Okay, now I always Look, say O. The vowel. I used to stand in front of the class and I would go like this. I'm a vav. I said, I'm a little vav. And here is the dot. How do you pronounce me? Okay. Oh, That's O. Oh, oh, my head. Oh. I, oh. Then I would do it with my stomach and I'm a vav. And here it is. Okay. And that's ooh. Then I'm, I'm a vav. I'm standing straight. And there's something at my feet. I'd say there's a little mouse, a little black mouse at my feet. I go E. Okay. So. The O vowel, the vav with the dot is O. Okay, okay. You're he if you're hearing O, you're listening to somebody with an Eastern European accent. Because in modern Hebrew, if you have an olive and you have this, this guy under it, it looks like a little T, that's A. Ah. There, there's the one, there's there is one. no O. And There's one man in our congregation that I, I it took me a to. while, but he says, whenever I know it's an O, he says, Owa. And it's just the way he talks. He always says, Owa. Down Southern, Owa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Owa. where he's from, but that's what yeah. he says. Well, so there's no O. Okay, well, thank you. Because I've been saying it wrong since all my years. I've been oh, saying well, I mean, no, You probably heard someone, you know, maybe a, a relative, Using that like a uh -huh. good Shabbos, and then instead of Shabbat, they say Shab Shabbos, like that. So there is no or unless in the prayer book or in the tikkun, the uh, that T it looks a little bigger, and then I know that word's an exception, and I have to say or, okay. like the word call, call right. it has a T. Right. You don't say call. You sing Hatikva. Call ode bale vav. It's not call ode because oh. it's a kaf and it, and that vowel under it. All right. So we say call. Why? Because me call and call. Those are exceptions. You always pronounce it like that. How do okay. I know? I hear it. I heard it when I learned it. I heard everyone say. They no one said me call. Call ode bale. Right. That's how you sing that No one says call ode. No one says okay. that. Okay. Because that's an Thank expression. Thank you. Yeah. So I know. Yeah. Okay. My husband. All right, ladies. Yeah. Have a good Shabbos. Yeah, and you. Uh, Shabbat 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 Thank you so much. much. Week. See All you right. next week. I See hope. if you bye can go bye. over the reading of this. We'll do a quickie review next week and I'll teach you some really like two liners, really easy ones. Next week okay. I won't stretch your brains. Okay. okay. I Thank you. Easy, and you'll get the right copy. Yeah, and if you can send it Thursday, it would really be good. If I, I'll, 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 I, I will, I, Beryl, I, I, I was good, right? I sent it. Yes, Thursday you were. Tomorrow. It's just that we, I, I spent an hour looking for a parking spot last night, <laughs> and never got my grandson to print anything out for me. So, right. Carol, if could you do it, me a favor and send me second, just? Um, could you just send me just the Thursday, link? to the what? Zoom again. I had to go back about three weeks. I didn't, I don't know, that's just me. I couldn't find I will. the link. All right, okay. so I'm writing. Helene, okay. Shalom, the book. And the link. And the link. And this time I'll put it in my calendar so that every time okay. I'll have the and, link. Um, Thank you. Oh, Beryl went, okay. So if I send the things Thursday afternoon, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, if I can do it earlier, I will. But I work Thursday. I have classes for both C's um, Thursday morning and Thursday night. I teach a class in the library. So Thursday is my like, so I have to really do my lesson planning on Wednesday. So I'll try to send it out on Wednesday. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Good job.